Okay, it's Wednesday 4 p.m. and time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Hey guys, I'm just about to start editing this episode and I wanted to quickly throw this in there at the start and just say... Um, so we've got an episode coming on Sunday and then next Wednesday's episode is going to be on Christmas Day. If you want a super long episode on Christmas Day, maybe like 40 minutes plus, then please leave a like and a comment down below telling me that you'd like to see that. Uh, I know a lot of people on Christmas Day, uh, after presents and Christmas dinner and stuff like that have literally nothing to do. So if you want to see like a super long episode on Christmas Day, uh, let me know in those comments down below and I'll bring you like a super long episode so you've got something to do in the evening. Uh, thank you all for their big support. Uh, thank you all for showing love on these episodes. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are dope. Thank you very much. If you want to be featured in these episodes, it's really easy to get involved. All you have to do is send me a HD screenshot from your console. Uh, there is actually linked in the description at the bottom of the de description to teach you how to do that. And then tweet me them with a, uh, a description of your team. For example, who is tradable, who's untradable, how many coins you got. And if you play a different uh, formation in game to what you play at the start, then just tweet me both screenshots so that I could see both of them. Uh, now, what I've started doing is tweeting out uh, when I am recording the videos. Now, I did say 15 minutes. I, I did take 25 minutes. Uh, unfortunately, it took a little bit longer. But uh, make sure you guys are following me on Twitter. There's a link in the description. It's at it's Haber. Uh, we're almost at 20,000 followers which is pretty amazing and really grateful for that um and i will be tweeting out telling you guys sort of rough, rough estimates to when i'm recording these episodes but without further ado let's jump straight into it hashtag it's haber go to the latest and by the way guys please tweet me with the hashtag don't at me in it tweet me the hashtag i can actually search the hashtag individually on twitter as you guys can see um but i can't uh, i can't go through all my my mentions and check every single squad because i get so many mentions throughout the day it's just really difficult so just start with Aaron's team. He's got 270,000 coins for upgrades. Uh, Baggio and Stegen are tradable. 4-2-3-1 in game. I have now Danilo SL, so storyline Danilo, uh, and Ferdinand right centre back. Ideally left back to left mid strong link upgrade or just full chemistry. Okay. Um, interesting. It's an interesting squad. So you've got how many coins? 270k for upgrades. Now you are rocking Danilo and Ferdinand at right centre back now um what would i do with your team you're looking for a, a strong link here uh obviously these are both untradeable cards i'm actually not a big fan of Di maria this year uh tackle fico is pretty decent but i would personally prob probably look for a different left back um a good link for 270k i'm pretty sure right now um hazard is around that that sort of ballpark he's dropped a lot recently um he's 258k and then the boy himself, Ferlin Mendy, is currently at 24k. You could probably bring those in for about 270 something k. Um, that might be a little bit more expensive. That might be 280k, but 10k is so easy to get. Like we're picking at straws if you think you can't get to, uh, 10 extra k. Um, so I think that might be a good option there, going with Ferlin Mendy and then uh, Eden Hazard. Uh, now that obviously obviously keeps within the, uh, the theme of your team. You've got like a Liga Santander sort of backline, so um, you know it helps out with that. Uh, in terms of what you play in game, you say you play a 4-2-3-1. Hazard would work as a really good cam. Um, now, you could also go down a route of probably going with, like, getting Quincy Promez's special card over here um, as your uh, as your left mid. And then you've got Qu Quincy Promez strong link with Tagliafico. There's a few options, really, you could go with. You could, get with, uh, you could go with Ben Mendy and get Leroy Sane. Um, there's a lot of different options for left wing and uh, left back uh, strong links. And I think that, uh, you know, you'll have a lot of fun sort of exploring those. Um, you could also go with, uh, I forget the guy's name, but the Spanish left back from uh, Man City. I forget the guy's name. I can't remember who it, what was his name? Oh, I can't remember it, but it's going to do my head in if I, if I don't remember it. Um, but then you can go with any Premier League left mid there as well. So there's a lot of different options you can go with. Uh, my favorite would be Eden Hazard and Ferland Mendy. Wow, big shock. Haber's recommending Ferland Mendy again. All right, leave me alone in the comments. You might have people that comment, all you did is recommend the same players. There's a thing on FIFA called a meta. I try and recommend meta plays so that you actually enjoy the game or using the best players. I'm not going to sit there and recommend you a 45 rated bronze and you're an idiot if you think so, all right? That was really mean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call anyone an idiot there. I just uh, it started to get on my nerves a little bit that people seem to be so angry at me for recommending meta players. Like, God, what can I do to win? <laughs> um, uh, you're not an idiot. I do apologize. Anyway, uh, the next one is from John Reed. Uh, he said, I don't know how to upgrade my team. I play a 4 2 in game and the o uh, only Allen and Juan Jesus, Allison and Robertson are tradable. I have 500k. Uh, thank you. Okay, so uh, you're looking for a left cam that plays left mid here. Um, straight away, the first player that pops into my mind is Mane. I mean, it's an obvious one, right? Mane is a really, really good player this year. I'm a big fan of Mane. 
Uh, you have 500k for upgrades. What I would recommend here is getting getting yourself Sadio or Sadio Mane. I would wait until he's out of packs as, a, as an inform. So at the minute, he's got this uh, left mid inform. That's 600k. Uh, that's making his, his normal card 230k. If you wait until... Thursday, maybe Thursday night, when he's out of packs and he's been packing, sorry, people have been packing him uh, in in reward video, sorry, in rewards and, and, you know, all the reward videos are up and stuff like that. He's probably going to be down to like maybe 200k. You might save you an extra 30k. So I pick Mane up for your left mid spot. Uh, as you see, the gradual... Uh, sort of downward spiral and then uh he gets an inform and he's uh he's sort of going up a little bit people are, are then buying him buying his normal card over the inform and then he'll drop down again once the inform is uh, is indeed out of pack so that might be a good shout to get Mane. i would also look to upgrade your robertson to the team of the year nominee robertson i actually used this card and i genuinely really enjoyed it for 79,000 coins, it's a really good upgrade on the left back now i know what you're thinking he's only got a plus one in like each stat but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a psychological thing. I really enjoyed this over the normal card. I don't know why. Uh, I'd also recommend an anchor card on uh, Robertson. You're currently using a shadow. I personally think an anchor is better. It improves the uh, the physical. Uh, you want the strength to go up a little bit because uh, that's really the strength and aggression uh, sort of combination with uh, with Robertson is really really good. And if you look over here on the right hand side, you'll see uh, if I add an anchor chem style onto him, he goes to an 89 rated left back. Now I think he goes high rated with a shadow. Uh, he goes to a 90 rated left back with a shadow, but you'll see the upgrades that he gets with um, with the anchor card. You see, he goes up to 91 aggression and 70 uh, strength. I think that's just a little bit more beneficial than getting the uh, the boost on on stats in defense that he already has good stats with. That's just my opinion personally. Uh, I think an anchor over a uh, over a shadow, but uh, that's that's just my opinion. Like I said, um, regardless, I think this is a nice team. A lot of you guys said that you didn't really care about the rate me rating the squads out of 10. Uh, a lot of you guys said that it really didn't matter. Um, you know, rating the squad really wasn't that important you guys didn't really care i totally understand i'm going to uh stop the rating teams because realistically a rating out of 10 means absolutely nothing doesn't it because i'm trying to help you improve your team so it's like yeah um anyway we're going with uh sash clark who says he has 171 000 coins everyone is untradeable except the recent martins keep up the good videos thank you very much bro i appreciate that dude um okay so what would i do with this team where is martins playing he's playing as a cam he's I'm trying to think here if there's a player you can use over here at this right uh, center mid spot that you can maybe use as a cam. Uh, let me have a look at uh, Martin as his stats, the uh, road to the final card. Uh, does he have good enough passing to be a cam? 75 passing. Um, what's his what's his passing stats then? Long long passing's not bad. Short passing's not bad either. And vision's pretty good. Uh, if you were to add maybe an engine card onto this card. That gives him 90 long passing, 84 short passing, and, and 88 vision, uh, as well as better dribbling and better pace. I would honestly say, instead of... Sorry, that's my Twitter. Let me close that down. Uh, I would personally say, sell Mertens and bring in uh, Lotaro Martinez. That gives a strong link to Politano. You've got full chemistry there. Uh, over on this left side, I see that you've got William because, you know, you've got a, a good version of William. Um, I'm hoping, I, apparently it's all been leaked anyway, the whole footmas thing. And I don't know who each player is going to be. I really hope that we get some some form of maybe like a Felipe Anderson or something. And if we do, then go with that card. Um, aside from that, I think this team is a really, really nice team. I like the uh, the setup. Uh, I really like Konate and Wendell at the back over here with Longley, uh, Lloris, etc. In game, I would say swap Konate and Longley. I prefer having the left footer on the left side. And I'm pretty sure Konate is right footed. So I, I do prefer that. Um, but no, aside from that, I think this team is really, really good. And I like how you've got a, a bloody... Uh, a Bamiyang on the bench as a super sub. That's really, really cool as well. So, uh, so nice. I do like the team a lot. Uh, next, we have got, we've done our ins already. We've got Liam's now. Uh, we'll get in four Mertens after rewards. Have roughly 50,000 coins for upgrades after that. Car uh, after that, sorry. Uh, Carlos, Griezmann, Diego Carlos, and Politano are untradeable. So, this is the new Diego Carlos over here. Um, that's nice. Okay. So, let me see what you're doing here. What are you. Uh, what are you rocking over here, my dude? Um, that is a really nice team in game. I'm a big fan of that. I would say Politano is a central cam and Griezmann is a right cam. So you can cut it on Griezmann's left and finesse shot. Uh, I think personally, that'd probably be a little bit better. Uh, what else do I think about this team? Um, would I upgrade anything else in this team? Hmm. I don't think I would, actually. I think I'd probably keep everything else the same. Uh, obviously, your Mertens is on a seven-game loan. You're getting in for Mertens after awards um okay see 
for 50,000 coins, I don't see any players here that I would personally upgrade. Um, if you guys do in the comments, then please let me know. Uh, but I don't see a, a player sort of that that is going to be a massive upgrade for 50,000 coins. I would say just sort of save up, maybe get a better version of Alan. Um, and then just sort of save your coins for, uh, for you know, better versions of players, really. That's that's sort of my recommendation there. Uh, the next one's from Brad, who says, I play 3-5-2 in-game, got around 200k. All specials are untradeable except Decore. Please rate and improve. Keep up the good work. I got you, bro. Thank you very much for the support. So, you have 200,000 coins if you play a 3-5-2. Um, let me see how it sets up. Rashford at right mid? That's pretty interesting, actually. I, I mean, I don't think that would be a bad shout. Um... The players I'm not a fan of in this setup, Ozil, Vardy. A lot of people say they love Vardy. I have personal use for him. I've used him a lot and I don't like him. I just think that he just doesn't fit the game. He's fast and that is all he is, literally. Uh, what I would do to change this squad, I would personally get a Bamyang up top. Uh, then at Cam, you've got a, a few choices here. I'd say Lucas is a really good choice. I don't know if Lucas has a Team of the Year nominee card. Uh, Lucas Mora. Does he have a Team of the Year? I bet he doesn't, does he? No, that's unfortunate. Lucas could be a really, really good choice here, though, at Cam. Um, you know, he's, he's agile, he's quick, he's got decent passing, and he, he sort of runs the play really well. And the best thing about Lucas, in my opinion, is that, you know, if you really need to, you could bring Lucas out, out to right mid, bring off Rashford and bring on, like, a Dembele or something. Like, you've got a lot of uh, versatility with the squad. Um, aside from that, I think this squad is actually really, really good. Obviously, you know, next next stop is probably upgrading Adem Militao to Rafael Varane. Um, but you know, that's not for the near future. That's not in the near future. That's sort of long term. Um, but one thing I will say is I've actually got told by another YouTuber called Neil Guides that using left backs and right backs as centre back is like really OP. I haven't used it yet, but I will be trying it this weekend. Let me know down below if you've tried it and let me know if he's uh, if he's right because he, he seems to be defending really well. So um, I'm definitely uh, interested in trying that out. Uh, we've got Ben Harrison's team next. He's got 4-1-2-1-2 on two on two in game. Untradables are Lewandowski, Nabry, PK, uh, two more coins for upgrades. Love the channel. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Ooh, okay. I'm liking I'm liking the... Uh, the mm. I was liking it until I saw how attacking your midfield was. Jeez, okay. I mean, does this actually work really well for you? Having such an attacking midfield? Personally, I would look to possibly, uh, you know, get Goretzka in uh, as opposed to uh, as opposed to Matias over here and, and possibly maybe a uh, Brandt or someone as, uh, instead of, um, I don't know, I don't know really, because obviously it's a left mid playing in, in centre mid. Maybe, maybe one attacking midfielder works, but I would say definitely Goretzka is a good shout here. Uh, I'm actually surprised at the, uh, but you've got 2 million coins for upgrades. 2 mil. And you got this team. Bro. All of it. All of it except for PK to Stegen, Nelson Semedo needs to just go. All right. Build from the ground up. Keep PK, keep Nelson Semedo, keep to Stegen. Uh, I would say get Rafael Varane left centre back and Ferland Mendy left back. Uh, I would then say sort of your midfield. Uh, I would sort of stack it up with... I don't know, the likes of... I'm, I'm enjoying uh, players like Inform Fabinho. I'm enjoying players like... Gretzk is really good this year. Kante is fantastic. Um, Allen is fantastic as well. Uh, I would say look at videos online from pros and sort of how they set their team up and try and match players that sort of way. With two mil coins, you've got a lot to work with. So I would say that is your best your best shot. The back line is decent, but for two million coins to upgrade, I just don't think that this sort of the midfield and attack is as good as it could be personally. Uh, so I would say actually look on look on YouTube for sort of pro teams and try and match players like that. Uh, I think you'll uh, you'll have more um, benefits doing that than for me just telling you meta players to buy. Realistically, um, the next one is coming from uh, Cam Cam, uh, who says uh, I play four and two and two in game. I have forty thousand coins. I'm saving up for Son and Varane and icons and the bench are untradeable. Okay, all right, um, interesting. With 40k, I probably would sell, if he's tradable, I'd sell Quincy Promes. Uh, and I'd, I'd get, hmm, where's he playing? Playing at left center mid. I would get somebody like maybe Lamar. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying Lamar is a better shout, and I know it's a downgrade. Uh, Lamar has uh, more well-rounded defensive stats. I know they're in the 50s and 60s. But they're better than 40s. And I think that as a left centre mid, he's good going forward. Got four star skills. His two star weak foot lets him down a lot. But uh, going forward wise, I think you'll actually have uh, a better better shot with Lamar as a centre mid. Uh, alternatively, you know, you could go with someone like Rashford. Uh, sorry, not Rashford. Martial. Um, you could go with the likes of 
any sort of French left mid, really, or any La Liga Santander left mid. Guedes might be a good shout. I think his screen card's not a bad shout either. Or he doesn't have a screen card this year, does he? Is it who is it that has a screen card? Oh, it's the other guy that has a screen card. Or maybe he had one last year. I can't remember. That's actually uh, frazzled me a little bit now. Uh, I thought I thought he had a screen card. Yikes. Anyway, um, aside from that, I think your team is really strong everywhere apart from this left mid spot, personally. Um, next team is going to come from Toby Blake. First is what I currently have. Second in game, thinking of getting the third. Currently have 300k. It will have more once I sell players. Untradables are Zaha, Lucas, Konate, and the bench. Love the vids. Keep with the good work. Sub to Haver. Thank you very much, Toby. Appreciate that, man. And if you guys are new around here and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. So, uh, let's have a look at this team. So, very nice how you start. I like the team in game as well. That's really, really cool. And this is what you want to, you're thinking of getting. Yes, 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 yes. This, this, this. Get it. Get this team, all right? 100%. That is a really nice looking team in comparison. I would say get this team. 100%. Really like it. That is, yeah. That, in my opinion, is way better than the first team. 100%, mate. But I appreciate the support, Toby. The next one is from Tom. I have 100k, all untradeable, including Benj, apart from Alba, where, uh, Wan, uh, Lewandowski, and my goalkeeper. Keep the good work. Okay. Uh, well, sorry, I don't mean to say okay, is it? I, I appreciate the support. I meant okay, as in like I'm trying to process the squad. I, I appreciate the support, though. I appreciate that. Like that must have came off really weird, uh, and I apologise for that. But uh, so how you starting and then uh, in game? Okay, all right. So what would I do here? I would personally drop Dembele from the squad. I would play Griezmann as a left wing. I would play Juan Mata as a cam in game, and then I would actually start uh, De Jong. The best version of De Jong you can possibly afford at this left centre mid spot. Um, and then I play him at right centre mid in game. Because uh, I think that you want more powerhouse centre mids and box-to-box -box midfielders than you want Juan Mata at centre mid in my opinion. Uh, and I think that is already a dramatic upgrade to your squad. Uh, aside from that, I think it's a very nice squad. Uh, the next one's coming from uh, Eli, who says 4-3-2-1 four, four, in game, 300k. Who should I go for next? Who should he go for next? Good question. Um... Hmm. Damn. Who should you go for next? Maybe Messi? Messi's maybe your next shout? Is Dembele untradeable? I don't know. If Dembele's tradable, I'd sell Dembele and get Messi, to be honest. Uh, I think that's the next the next point of upgrade because this squad is really nice. And then after that, you're sort of into the icon territory where the only upgrades you can make are icons. Uh, it's a very, very nice squad. I like that. I love your super subs as well. You've got some really good super subs on the bench as well. Uh, the next one's from Aaron Carey, who says, All untradeable, including the bench, I have 100k for improvements, but I can save and play more in game. Okay. Uh, 100k. Hmm. 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 Interesting. What'd I do here? I like the strong link with uh, Ber the perfect link with Berkey and Akanji. With 100k. I think, like, the only route you can realistically go with, in my opinion, not even. I'm struggling with this. If you guys can, can help him out with this squad, please help him out in the comments down below. I'm actually struggling with improvements here because, realistically, you've got a really good pair of CDMs in Guardiola and Gabamin, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually recommend upgrading to anyone, especially considering you won't be able to get chemistry on other players. Your right side, you need Aguilar for full chemistry, and Gelson Martins is really good. Trossard's fantastic, and there's no one realistically you can get that'll improve him uh, for 100k. Same with Zaha. Zaha's really good, and for 100,000 coins, you're going to struggle to upgrade. Lacazette is decent. I mean, for upgrades, if you can afford a, a Bamiyang, maybe a Bamiyang's the only improvement you make here. Um, and the rest of the squad just works and gels well together. So I'd say just save up for a Bamiyang to replace with Lacazette, to be honest. Uh, next one is coming from, uh, we've already done Brad's in this video. I'm pretty, yeah, that's a 352. Next one coming from Josh. I have 200k to upgrade. The only tradables are De Gea, Alba, Walker, and Dembele. Please help. Okay. Um, interesting. That's actually, uh, I like, I like how you set up with that. Um, how many coins did you say you had? 200,000 coins. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe... Dembele could be upgraded possibly uh, to like an Eden Hazard if you if you work towards the extra sort of 50k you need. Maybe that's just one Div Rival reward set and then you've got the extra 50k. Aside from that, I don't really see an upgrade you can make because I, I, again, like 
you got two fantastic strikers. I, I actually use this striker partnership for a while and they play really well together. You got two fantastic CDMs. Willian's a decent cam. Dembele's decent, but could be upgraded to like Hazard, but that's really the only option. Um, unless you went with the new Inaki Williams SBC, started him off chemistry as a centre mid and played him at cam. But then he's a bit more of a striker, so it can be might not work. Um, your back line is really good. Your goalkeeper is really good. So I'd say keep up more of the same, to be honest. I like the squad. Uh, anyway, the last one's going to come from Azan for this episode. Um, thank you all for watching the episode, by the way. I really appreciate it. Excuse me. So everyone's tradable except the storyline cards, icons, and the SBC card. The whole bench is untradable. I've got 270k for improvements, and I play both formations. So, wow, it's a nice, a nice team starting. Uh, this is one formation in game. I like it. I'd swap Ben Yedder and Griezmann around, uh, definitely. And then this is the second formation in game. Uh, this one, I'd say, is actually better. Uh, how many coins do you say you have for improvements? 270k. I would personally say, at this point in time, just upgrade to better versions of cards. Um, you know, Ben Yedder has, uh, in game, he's got like an 85 rated inform card. Uh, that's 186k. I would personally just say, upgrade your, your Ben Yedder to inform Ben Yedder. I'd say it's probably... The only thing I'd say to do right now is to upgrade upgrade to the better version of cards. Eventually, you want to bring in Kante over to Kore, um and, and things like that, really. So I'd say just, just upgrade uh, as you go along. Aside from that, I think the team is very, very nice. I really do. Uh, I like that team a lot. And I like the subs as well. You've got some really good subs. You've got, you know, Vitzel in there, Fabinho. You've got some powerhouse subs. I do like that a lot. So... That's it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for the epic support on the videos. I really appreciate it. Um, now, it is currently, what date is it today? It's the 17th. So the next episode will actually be on uh, Christmas Day. Sorry, we'll get one on Sunday, but the next Wednesday episode will be on Christmas Day. So, um, and the recording is on the 17th. So it'll be live on the 18th. So we'll get one this Sunday and then the next one will be on Christmas Day. If you want like a really long special episode on Christmas Day, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear that. I'll leave a little prompt at the start of the video as well. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.